Man, what a view. Hey guys, Todd Helms out here with Eastman's Hunting Journals today to bring you a gear review on the new Killick backpacks, the K2800 and the K2000. I got these backpacks just in time to go on a late season deer hunt. I'm gonna be using the 2800 exclusively on this, on this upcoming late season deer hunt, but I wanna to talk to you first about the K2000 from Killick. This is an impressive little backpack and Sportsman's Warehouse is billing this as kind of the ultimate day pack type backpack. The first, at first blush, when you go to sportsmanswarehouse.com and you look at the specs on this thing, it is loaded with all of the features that you could possibly ever want from a day pack. This thing is super, I don't know what you'd call it, capable, I guess would be the right word. It offers a great support system with a great belt, pockets on the belt. You got good, heavily padded shoulder straps. This little thing's gonna take a load. I, it's not designed to carry meat per se, but I could totally see taking out a first maybe boned out shoulder or a boned out hind quarter if you're deer hunting, if you could fit it in here, you could do that, absolutely. This pack is designed to just get you through the day on quick jaunts and, it's, and take a lot of stuff with you. There's all kinds of zippered pockets. These zipper pulls are really beefy on here and I'm impressed right off the bat. You've got lots and lots of organization. Things that I normally have in little stuff sacks, there was a spot for everything that I wanted to put in the backpack. Lots of zippered pockets, all kinds of storage pockets. I mean, knives and flashlights and headlamps. I mean, anything you wanna take on your hunt, you're gonna be able to organize it perfectly in these backpacks. One of the cool little pieces that I see right off the bat for archery guys is this thing has a quiver attachment on it. It's got attachment points that you can attach your quiver if you take it off your bow. Sportsman's Warehouse had it in mind that they wanted to create a backpack that would fit the Western hunter, but fit guys that want to use a tree stand too. You can strap this thing to the tree, hang it from the tree, and it zips all the way down into a U, into a bucket shape, so you can completely access everything that's in this backpack while it's hanging from in your tree. It's all organized, everything. You've got internal pockets to put water bottles in or rattle bags if you're a whitetail guy. It has hydration bladder hookups on it. Incredibly well thought out zipper organization, incredibly well thought out designs. You hang this thing in a tree, you're good to go but it's gonna pull double duty for you at the same time. It's a Western style day pack. It's gonna operate that way for you too. It has a gun scabbard, just like the 2800 does. You can see the rifle barrel sticking up behind my head. This pack comes with that as well. So you can strap a bow to this. You can strap a gun to it if you want to, and it's going to take it. Check out the K2000 if you're in the market for a day pack. Let's break into the K2800 and I'll show you some of the stuff that I've got inside that this thing has swallowed up, and I'm super impressed so far. All right, as you can see, I'm wearing the K2800 pack. In these cold, late season conditions, I need to make sure that I've got all the gear that I need to last an entire day on a glassing knob. I'm not hiking around a bunch of spots. I'm picking a spot where I can see a ton of country, and I'm sitting there all day long. It's nice to be able to pack out an entire deer in one trip a lot of time I'm a little ways back in places and it's nice to just make one in and one out. I can do that with the K2800, one, one and done. So let's take this pack off and I'll show you some of the features. Obviously we've got a sternum strap and it does have a whistle on it. Scare off bears, scare off mountain lions, get somebody's attention across a canyon. Who knows what you use the whistle for. I really like the reverse pull belt on this. I'm not pulling from the front, I'm pulling from the sides and it tightens down really easily. It also loosens up really nicely too. I just pull back these buckles, flex your abs a little bit and get it so it's nice and loose. I'm gonna loosen up these chest straps. I'm gonna swing this backpack around so you can see some of the features on it. All right, first and foremost, you can see that this thing has a weapons scabbard or a weapons carrier on it. Strap everything in. 
It's bow or gun compatible, just like the K2000. And I've got my rifle all set up and ready to go on here. It handles it really beautifully. Once I snugged up my load lift straps, it sucked the backpack right tight against my torso. I didn't even really know I was wearing it for the first part of the review, and I think I'm gonna really like this. One of the neat things that the K2800 has is it has these straps on here that are Velcro straps, and I can put a bottle of bear spray on here, or I can put a handgun on here for hunting in grizzly country, which we do all the time out here. All it does is unstrap, you put what you want on there, and it Velcros right back tight into place. That's a really cool feature that I think is ingenious, actually. So. I wanna take my rifle off so I can show you what's in here. I'm just gonna unbuckle all these buckles and pull this thing out. There's three buckles that hold it in place. And I have a bandolier on this rifle so it makes it a little bit harder to get out. Obviously that's something that I'm going to do when I get to my glassing location. First pocket right on the front of the backpack. Really easy pull zippers, folds down, you can see I've got a couple knives in here. I've also got some flagging to help make tracking. I have knife sharpener, just some possibles that you should always have. Well, it's a little bit of parachute cord, and I can put a lot more in here if I wanted to, and I will for the hunt. I, this was just some necessities to see, get a initial feel for this backpack. Another feature is this removable pack here it's a it's a you can use it as a fanny pack if you're going to go light and fast say you glass up some animals at a distance you don't want to have to use your pack but you need some equipment with you load up the fanny pack pop it off put it on and go that's a really nice feature i have stuff that i need to have instant access to stuffed in this outer pocket i have gloves i have a headlamp and i have an extra beanie in here it fits in there really, really well, and I have very quick, very easy access on the outside of my pack. I don't have to take the rifle off or my bow off to get to it, it's all right there. Super quick, super easy to get to. Main compartment, big, beefy pull tabs on these, on these YKK zippers. Man, again, this pack has so many options that I can't even include them all in this review to do it justice. Check it out at sportsmanswarehouse.com, but let's zip this thing down and see what I've got in here. Folds down, top zipper pocket, great place for a first aid kit, maybe a kill kit, but I've got my first aid kit in there. It's a, re it's a really handy little pocket. Put that in, it swallows it up really easily, really well. I got a puffy jacket in here. That is a big old puffy jacket that fits in there. That thing compresses down pretty small, and I didn't get real crazy with it, but I got a ton of space left over in here. Again, internal pockets to put water bottles or a stove, a spotting scope. I've got a big back pocket here, in case you gotta blow your nose, right? It's gonna be cold, so I'm not gonna pack fluids in a bladder for this trip because I don't want them to freeze. I'm actually gonna use a Yeti bottle which will go right here in these water bottle or spotting scope pockets on the outside because I don't want my stuff to freeze. This suspension system on here is super comfortable. It's adjustable, slides up and down, instantly adjustable. I don't have to do anything fancy with it. It has a big lumbar support right here on the back that I've already noticed in the small of my back is making things very comfortable. I'm pretty impressed so far. One of the things that this backpack has that I'm stoked to check out when I get a chance to use it, it's just got a load shelf. And I will deploy this in the field when I kill a deer and show you exactly how it works. Well, I shot this doe last night. Um, not gonna make any pretenses. I haven't had a chance to actually pack out any meat with this backpack just because of the way things worked out during with the hunting season. So I thought, you know what, I've got a doe down I need to carry her out of here anyway. Let's put her whole on the backpack and see how it does. It's gonna be approximately the same weight as a elk hind quarter. Nice big fat white-tailed doe. I got her gutted out, got a tag on her. 
uh, last night. Just propped her open, and left her here where she could cool in the in the breeze. And I'm gonna throw her on this backpack and show you guys how this load shelf works. So here we go. All right, again, this is the Killick K2800, and this is kind of their do-it-all backpack. Let's check out this load shelf, this frame on here. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna flip it around here and show you. Basically, I just have these attachment points on the pack, and I'm only gonna take off the top part. So basically, I undo the top straps. So you just squeeze, and it pops open. And then all I do is slide that through that webbing, it's a little tight, but it's not bad. Just slide it through there. And that pops off, and I do the same on this side. Just like that. And I just slide it through. And then all I have to do is pull this up and over like this. And this will pop off, just like that. And I have its load shelf ready right there. So, what Killick has, I'll pull this around, you can see it a little bit better. All right, so this is the frame, this is the back of this pack. And you've got, you can see you've got these buckles. There's flaps in here, like compression flaps, that I unbuckle these and they fold out, like that. Really interesting design. It has pockets in here. I could put a water bottle in here if I needed to, or a couple of them. Sometimes your pack outs in the West get long and hot in the early part of the season, it's nice to be able to have some water with you. It all, you also retain on this, if I pop this down, this is another panel, and that folds down like that, you also retain your H2O compatibility. This is your H2O sleeve right here. So you could put knives, you could put, if all you wanna do is go in super light, you could put your butchering kits in these pouches and maintain, I don't know, two, maybe three liters worth of water in this. Really well thought out design, and I'm pretty impressed. I'm really actually looking forward to putting this thing through the paces more next fall, because I'm not gonna need water today. It's cold, it's starting to snow a little bit too. So I'm gonna flip this around, and I'm actually going, I'm not going to use these flaps today, because I'm loading a whole animal on this. So I'm gonna buckle these back up like this. And I'm gonna put her right on here. And I'm going to secure her double with this panel and then the pack itself. I'm just gonna sandwich her in there and hopefully this will work. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to quarter her up, get her out of here, which we can do that too, but I thought, let's do the whole thing. <laughs> That's kind of how I roll. All right, so she's pretty riggered up, pretty stiff. Um, but I'm going to put her feet up and head down. So I'm going to move it toward you. And I'm going to pick her up. Yeah, I'm gonna fold that out. Just like that. And I want her all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna move it down so it's right on the, she's kind of right on the waist pack. First panel is gonna go over. And it's going to attach up here. And pull tight. I'm actually gonna step on this. And pull it tight. Now for the backpack itself. This will be interesting to see if I can do this, but it's supposed to do it. All right, so I need to loosen these straps on the bottom to make this load shelf wider, more room. So I just loosen. Typical buckles. That is pretty wide. I'm gonna go all the way, letting myself a little room to get a hold of to tighten it back down. But it's just, that's your traditional load shelf. It's just got her pretty well sandwiched. It's gonna ride right on my waist belt, which is where I want it. So now we come back up over the top. I'm gonna roll her up like this. So this sleeve has got to go back over the top. And it's gonna be tight, but I should be able to get this to work. 
Oh yeah, just like this. It's a tight fit, but you want it to be a tight fit. It needs to be a tight fit for this, in order for this thing to work. Pull that up through. And what I need to get to are my straps right here. So I can reattach my shoulder harness to this pack. So these have got to come all the way down. So I've got that one and I'm just going to close it just like that. I'm going to be able to pull that tight. Now I got to get this one and it should just slide over the top. So I got both of them hitched up. She's going to go for a ride. Ready to go, but I want to bind these legs together so she's less floppy. Remember I talked earlier about all the organization in this pack? Well, guess what? There's my handy dandy parachute cord right in the top pocket where I can get to it super easy. Truss her up like a Thanksgiving turkey, right? Those legs will ride right over my head. They won't be flopping around. It'll help keep her centered up on my body. Let's get her up on my back and get out of here. This is on. Stability's good. It rides nice. Nice thick padded shoulder straps. Yeah, this isn't bad. Ready? Make sure you drop down and mash that subscribe button. Turn on that little bell for, to get notifications on all the great stuff that we do here at Eastman's. And thank you again for supporting Eastman's and all that we do across all our various social media platforms.